Hello everyone, this is Marta from Bravo. Today, I wanted to show you the difference between building a prototype in Figma versus Bravo Studio. In Figma, achieving multiple interactions or a full screen interactive could be a bit more complex than expected. And link various components, create manual stages. Obviously, with the new features and the variables has improved, but still, could be a time consuming and with some repetitive work. On the other hand, using Bravo could simplify the process. One of the main advantages is that Bravo has this native component based approach. Let me explain what I mean. For example, let's take the common behavior like swiping to delete to a list of items. First, I wanted to show you one small prototype I created here in Figma. Uh, to see how we can replicate the same feature. So I have like two lists with one component that is generating the list of contacts in this case um, with two stages. One that is the normal behavior, the default, and the other is once you drag, you see the delete button. I have another list to create the option like what happened when you delete one item. But in this case, I'm just, I can't just select one item specifically. So it will be Marcus Simpson will disappear on the list. Let me show you the prototype. Here, there is a prototype that you can, you can drag. And you can see that after, if you don't do anything, it comes to the previous state, That's so nice. And when you drag Marcus and you press the lid, it collapses and all the list goes up. Uh, to have this behavior. It is pretty awesome. And that's why like the option is that if you do the same in another contact item, you will see that it's not happening. The same behavior expected because you need to repeat and do this for each of the items. Let's compare it to Bravo Studio. So what you need to do in Bravo Studio is only have one screen with the list of items and in the list item one or in all in this case, because I'm doing like two versions, a static and a dynamic data that I'm going to show you. So in the list of items, you need to add what we call Bravo tags. That is uh, between brackets, you have swipe to delete action. That's it. And you can see it already. I'm going to show you how it behaves on the mobile. And you can see that this is my mobile screen when you swipe it deletes already and you can do everything from the list because we recognize and we interpret this swipe to delete and we convert it into a native experience uh, for a mobile app. Um, like I said before, you can not only do like a static one, you can also connect it to a real data with the dynamic content. So you can populate all this list, for example, here I have an example, you can be swiping and deleting, and this is coming from a database. In this case, I'm using Shano. So, but this is just like one small uh, example that you can do and have like more real interactive um, experience for your users and at the time when you are prototyping. And that's it. Let's see what you are gonna build. Happy Bravo writing.